something that is really important when you're painting waves is where do you want the viewer's eye to go to? Where's your focal point? In this picture that we have, it is right to the side here, right? Right to the crest, the center of the wave. And so we kind of want to make sure that we don't lose that, um, that, that piece. So we just kind of want to always keep that in the back of our mind when we're sketching this onto our paper. So we're going to go ahead <clears throat> and just kind of sketch out our horizon. Like I said, Are you working it doesn't have with to a pencil? I'm just using a pencil right now on my sanded paper. You can use a pastel. You can use, um, I have pastel pencils too that you can use. It, it really, I don't know. I've always used the, the pencil. So, so there you go, of, guys. <laughs> I was telling you not to do that, but this is why you need other teachers. <laughs> I, isn't that funny? And so, I'm not doing, I'm not pressing very hard. I'm just kind of sketching the general direction of where the wave is. Kind of paying attention to, you know, where where the horizon is on the picture. Um, I know Leah probably has taught you um, how to grid out your your picture. I Waves are so forgiving. Um, you certainly can do that. I just feel like, Right now, we're just needing to learn the technique, the process that we go through. So, Marie, when you're done with the sketch, can you please take a picture of it with the the source so that they can see it and do what you and then take a moment to do what you've done? So, just yep. watch right now, you guys, and then she'll take a picture because the source is kind of at an angle, so it's tough for them to see. Okay, yeah, and I can move that too. Um, okay, so we're just gonna kind of come in here see there's some darker water in the back of this wave and then um kind of flattens also, out you guys can also see the source um on the whatsapp thread i just pushed it up to the top um okay. one question please the yes. horizon should we use a ruler because it's no. usually very straight isn't it yes so you you can you can use a ruler um usually towards when i lay down the pastel that's really when i'm making it um fairly even i'm just kind of it's like a road map essentially is what i'm doing with the sketch but you are definitely right um some pastelists will take another piece of pastel paper and they'll lay it they'll lay it right on underneath that horizon and then do the pastel up above it. And you can certainly do that too. Yep. Good question. And I'll take a picture right now for you. <clears throat> okay. Oh, now I can hear you. Now I can hear you kind of. Okay. Okay, great. Yes, now we got you. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, so I'll send it over here. So if you guys can do that with either a pencil, a pastel pencil, a piece of charcoal probably, uh, maybe not charcoal, it's kind of dark, or a pastel, maybe a blue pastel or a green pastel. So take a moment and then go ahead and once you've done it, go ahead and send it in, send in a picture. Poor Marie, she's not used to me like totally driving the. <laughs> oh, you're fine. You're absolutely. I'm just kind of moving things around in here. Um, I'm kind of in you a small, small space, and I was gonna try to see if I could get that camera. Can you turn? Yeah, I was gonna say, can you turn the cam? Oh, great, I see. Perfect. Can you turn the camera on so they can see the sketch up close too? Yeah. I was just gonna see. See if that works a little better. We'll get it dialed in. Yeah, that's good. So can you you guys can see the sketches pretty clearly. It's 
pretty simple. Yeah, once I start putting in the pastel, it should. Yeah, and nobody, at this phase, nobody really needs a grid. Um, no. I think you just need to sort of follow the main, there's the white part of the wave. Mm -hmm. And the horizon line. This lend itself to acrylic? Uh, yeah, do it in acrylic. Absolutely. I'll also send over, um, I did take a picture of some of the colors that um, I laid out and maybe that will help for the painting. I know one thing when I was taking class, um, I was so, so new to pastels. I didn't really know what colors and values. And I just, it was, you know, you're kind of trying to follow along. And so um, I did, I'm going to teach you how to work through the, the, the picture and picking and selecting colors and values, but I, also did it um, prior just so you can see a little bit easier and what and I labeled at the top I sent a picture yes. so you can kind of see the colors that I've chosen um, you don't have to use exact as long as your values are correct you can really use any color um, and when I talk about values it's your lights and your darks so hi Claudia By the way, on? which kind of pastel do you use mostly? Um, yeah, so I have a wide variety of pastels. Um, I have some new pastels, which are hard pastels, um, mm -hmm. to Rembrandt's, which are like semi-soft. Um, I have Terry Ludwig, uh, Unison's. Those are probably my two favorite um soft pastels i also have Absolutely. some great yeah great american and terry ludwig's are you'll know his pastels because they're generally square um right, they they're look, gradated in colors and yeah. they're very soft right. they're, they're like, like super soft yeah they're like, like because they're so soft all right yeah uh, Rashmi, that looks pretty good sandra that looks pretty good all right, you're good. Um, yeah. Terry Ludwig hand makes is an artist in the US. He yes. hand does all of his pastels. He's got colors that no one else does. I love the colors. Yeah, How they're expensive though. They're expensive. My, they're very expensive. <laughs> My favorite is uh, Giro. I don't know whether you've ever tried that. It's Giro? a French brand, Giro. No. And they, um, I order them straight from France because they're much cheaper. The Gerald? I love they're incredibly, yeah. they're incredibly smooth um, and dense. Really? Um, but they allow you to do great details, even though they're not hard. And, and so they're it's... not powdery. Because I got, I found, I love Unison. That's my next favorite brand. But I found Unison. Uh, they're very, you get a lot of dust everywhere. And with Giro, you don't. I love Giro. It's really my go to in the end. But it's very expensive here. Or double the price than if you ordered straight from France. I, I have not um, tried that yet, so I will do that. I'll send you a link or something. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Uh, how are they looking, Marie? How are the drawings looking? I think they're looking great. I'm just looking at them. Yeah, these guys can draw. It's All even numbers. more forgiving than animals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why I thought you guys would like it. <laughs> yeah, you know, waves, <clears throat> waves and water are very interesting. Um, one thing that if you're out there watching the water move and move, um, it's it's not the same. So it is forgiving. You can right. improvise a little bit if you know what you're doing. So yeah.
Did you make so, a stag behind you? Uh huh. Oh, it's lovely. Thank you. Um, um, what does pop mean? Oh, what pop, mean? yes, pop. Um, so I always like to do very good question. Um, and uh, so what I like to do at the bottom of it is, um, or in the middle of the paint at the very end, I like to add a little pop of color. And sometimes I set out some very end, like colors that I like. And then sometimes it's like, ooh, uh, I want to add just a little accents here and there. So that's Meaning what the color is bright and comes forward, kind of. So it's yeah, like the brightest yeah. colors of your, it's the brightest colors of your, your, your yeah. screen. Okay. Little monster kitty. I don't yeah. know if you guys ever hear, but Hermes is attacking me right now. Oh. <laughs> he hates the computer. He oh. hates it. He hates it when I look at the computer and don't pay attention to it. As opposed to him. Which is competition. Yes, yes exactly. He's a brat. He's All grown right. up so much. He has. He's massive. Look at Let's him. See him. Let's Here, see him. Let's Here, hold on. I'm gonna, do you mind, Marie? Can I switch over the... Oh, ready? yeah. I'll go right ahead. Let yeah. me hold on. We need to Let's see this beast. He is a beast. He's, He's a just the cutest. Beast. He's a He's complete gorgeous. beast. Look at him. He's a complete beast. He's Here. gorgeous. Play spotlight. Oh, there. There I am. Can we see the whole body? <laughs> oh, yes. oh, look how he's gotten so big, Leah. <laughs> yeah. He's like a big, he's like a big, thick. He how old like, is he now? He's not even a year. Not even. <laughs> wow, he's going to be big. He eats a lot of food. The time yeah, that a eight look. months old is the worst time because they've got the body of an adult, but the mind of a child and they're so <laughs> you <know>, <laughs> Sandra, I keep that in my mind every day that you told me that. I'm like, he's just eight months old now. That's why he's an asshole. He's yeah, yeah. Eight months old is the worst. He is an asshole, but he's <laughs> darling, but he's, he is also a total asshole. Yeah, look at him. He's just huge. Oh, he's gorgeous. He's so sweet. Like You can do whatever you like to him. Oh, yes. Until he gets like, and he's crazy. You can see he's already trying to figure out what he can jump on and what he can attack. <laughs> yes. Um, all right, everybody, let's go back to it. Okay, Marie, we're ready, I think, for the next step. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna... husband to see him. Yeah, oh, okay, I'll bring, I'll bring him back. It's okay, you saw it. Oh, you saw okay. it. You saw him. <laughs> they all drew him when he was just a little teeny kitten. Long yeah, ago. yeah, we did. All right, he's so cute. He's cute. I, I still have. Hermes somewhere. Somewhere, yay! <laughs> so I do want everyone to look at the picture I sent to you with the um, with the pastels and the colors. And so the way I set out my palette is I work from the top down. So I'm gonna switch cameras and I'm just gonna show you what I'm talking about. That way you, you can follow along with the colors I chose. <clears throat> so with the picture, I'm talking about the sky. So you can see that there's two blue colors. What I'm looking at is what is what colors are in the sky. And so I'm looking at value and color. Um, so I chose two, two blues that we're going to put on on the sky piece. And then I just work my way down. I like to pull all my colors out that I think I'm gonna use for the painting. I, I generally paint fast. And so I really need, I really like to have my pastels and I like to have all my things laid out. So moving down to the horizon, I have, um, I put the horizon. Um, so you see the blues that I chose for that. And then what I'm also seeing here is the light reflecting this light blue on the dark blue. So we know water, the water is blue, okay? It's darker, but it's also reflecting a little bit of that sky. So I laid out some of that lighter blue color. And then as I work down, I'm seeing some greens and I'm also seeing a little bit of blue, but mainly some green. And I'm looking at that dark green. And then as I come into the crest, it gets a little lighter. So for the actual wave portion of it, underneath the reflective, sky on the water because all of this light piece 
that isn't actually um, what I'm going to use for painting the wave. That's going to be put on top at the end, okay? So I'm just looking underneath this dark, dark green. So I selected probably four or five different greens because you've got a lot of turquoise over here. And then as you move in where it's thicker water, you've got darker green. And then it thins out in that crest as it's coming up and over. So you're gonna have a lighter turquoise green, obviously, cause you know, it's thinner water. And then <clears throat> I'm also looking at the foam. And we've got sunny foam, warm, the sun's kind of coming off to the left. And then we've got shadows and they look purple um, and some blues and some light greens. So the foam of the wave, that's what I put on there was, um, gosh, I probably have like 10 different pieces of pastel. That, that um, one, that's Molly, by the way. Oh, I'm sorry, yes, hold on just a second. She like. Molly so is. Leah, we don't have to prep this page like we do in our normal standard paper classes. Uh, you will be, you will be, but in a layered okay. way. So she's getting you the okay. colors. I'm gonna get her to go a little faster because I think she okay. thinks this class is three. So Marie, this class is two hours and not three. Okay, so, let's go. Yeah, let's go. All right. <laughs> so let's go. All right, um, we're gonna lay in our skies. So I'm just going to start laying it in. What and color is that that you're using? This That's is like a medium value of blue. Can you see? Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> and a little bit of um, I don't have that shade, so can I use this one? You're going to, let's see. What, what, what is Hold it? Hold on. It's, let me, let me find her and I'll see it. Hold on, kind of, let me see. Yeah, that should work. It's like kind of a cerulean blue. Yeah. So use the closest thing that you have, you guys, obviously. As you heard yeah. from the conversation with Marie. Mom, to that the case, like the closest color I have is gray. Great. Like, like, use, okay, that, use, that blue. use that blue. Use that blue. Okay. Um, we're going to go down into the water and put in the dark. So is that your darkest blue? blue? Yep. So can you it's guys like a see navy? This? Yeah, it's a very dark blue, the darkest blue you've got. So you're probably feeling even right now. These are Cherry Ludwig's, by the way. These are these big blocky colors that, um, oh, they just look at how nicely they cover the paper. Um, uh, you're you're probably feeling already your lack of colors. <laughs> I want you to just do the best you can. The, I don't know if you noticed, but Sandra and Marie had a conversation about eight different brands of pastels at the beginning of class. Are you putting a different color on top of that, Marie? Yep, I'm actually bringing in a little bit of a blue and I'll take a picture of it so you can see these two different blues. I like to layer in a little bit of different colors. I think it gives a little bit of a dimension. Um, and what I love about the pastels when we add the rubbing alcohol piece of it is that it blends it to really pretty colors, um, I think. And let's see here. So. <clears throat> So it looks to me like kind of a dark, uh, sort of deeper blue, and then perhaps like an ultramarine, kind of a, yeah. a dark, but like a slightly warmer, purplier blue. Yep, and, and I that. sent over a picture too. Okay, so now we're gonna work with the wave Good. down in the water. And... Very nice. Um, don't be afraid to go dark. I think that's the one thing that um, I, I was a little nervous when I started um, because I thought, oh shoot, it's gonna be too dark. But really, 
you're looking at the water itself, you got to try to imagine the water without any foam, any white part of that water on it. Um, just the water itself. And so, and so it what is, is that? Is that like kind of a greeny blue? Yep, it's like a green, green blue. Um, and so do you guys, do you want them to shift color if they can? Like yep, we're just dark. working down into the wave. Yeah. And um, then this is notice this. So notice the different uh, color shifts, you guys, but also notice how dark this is. These are all fives on the value scale. They're as dark as it gets. So even though they're different colors of blue, they're all really dark. <clears throat> yep, it is amazing. I'm kind of more into a blue. That looks like kind of a blue almost, green. Yep, blue green down in here. What's interesting, as you can see on this wave, is the plane changes, right? So <clears throat> what I mean is it's flat. The water is flat. It doesn't mean that the water is a different color. It just means that the plane is different. So it's reflecting the sky. So it appears lighter. But the water underneath this foam is still the same color as here. It's just the plane change. And the way we deal with that is the colors that we're going to lay over the underpainting, which I'll show you. So let's see here. And make sure you guys to ask questions if you are, are having, if you're needing, if you're not sure what's going on and you need more assistance. So what is that color, Marie? That looks so like kind of a... This is kind of like a turquoise here and I'll... Um... <clears throat> lay out these colors a little bit so you can kind of see. Uh, can, can we keep mixing colors to get these shades because I don't have. Uh, yeah, you can. Shades. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Okay. So you might okay. have one dark blue and where the wave is here, you might put that dark blue down and then a bit of dark green over it, right? Mm -hmm. Where the wave is back here, you might put a, a, a dark, a sort of that lighter blue um, yes, you can, but the real key is the darkness. So, Rashmi, this is actually how you are, this is how you're going to be treated. This paper, this is going to be treated with alcohol. So, ultimately, okay. this is going to kind of push back and be your base layer. Um, so, we are doing it kind okay. of the same, but a little bit different and with cooler colors. <laughs> And don't be afraid to reach out for other colors that maybe you need. Um, like I picked out some and now I'm thinking, well, I kind of need a darker blue. And that's why I have this test piece over here. Um, and I kind of felt like maybe, because you're trying to think about the the color that you're adding and what you're going to put over it. So this is what's going to show through that foam and show through um, the layering process. So we really want to think about what is down below. And um, that's why I have below the wave. And so um, we'll just This is a Rembrandt, um, and you can tell it's kind of like a semi-hard. It's not soft like uh, Terry Ludwig. And kind of wanting. I'm kind of adding some purple down here and then I think I'm going to go back over some blue and uh, I'm 
over that. So that's a purple over, so it's a little bit lighter on the base. Still yep. dark, but a little bit purpler and lighter on the base. Okay. <clears throat> and something also that um, I'm, if you notice, I'm not filling in where that white is on the wave. I'm preserving my whites over here. And I'll show you why. Um, but I'm kind of just coming along here. This is just right along the crest. And let's put a little bit of light blue back in here. You see where she's adding in a little bit of light blue on top, you guys. Kind of a medium Just a little. blue, really. <clears throat> and then probably in here, I'm just going to do a little bit of this teal. Just a little. And that's about it for ready to do our underpainting. Um, and I'll take a picture here. And I know it looks kind of funny. <laughs> this is the part, the underpainting part that um, you want to take your time on. Once you get the underpainting right, the rest of the painting is going to work out. And why I mean that is really getting those, those values, the colors, and the shape. And when we get ready to apply um, the rubbing alcohol or the Gamsol, I'm not sure what everyone has today, but I'm using the rubbing alcohol. Um, the isopropyl alcohol. Yep, and I'll take a picture. I prefer the 70%. Um, you can get 91%, but I feel like it, it makes the paper kind of gummy. What's the point of adding the alcohol? We're so what we're paper, going, we're, the base there. Oh, we're gonna fix that, that um, pigment. We're gonna fix it to the painting, uh, to the paper. So essentially we're gonna be like painting and we're going to take our brush and we're going to um, dip it into the rubbing alcohol. And then we're going to um, wet that pigment and it essentially turns it into paint. If anybody wants to send a picture over of what you're working but, on, go ahead. But what um, do you achieve compared to just doing pastels? Um, um, so, what was that? Go ahead. What do you achieve compared to just using pastels? I, I, for me personally, I find I like using the rubbing alcohol for my underpainting. Um, you don't have to, you can use, um, you can blend. I think it depends on- um, okay. It blends, okay. blends. Hang blends. on, hang on. Let me explain. Let me explain why you do this, Sandra. That's right, because you okay. haven't seen very many of our uh, things I, where we've I been working say, on it. It's okay. fixed, it, if you fix the base layer, as we know, uh, the big problem with pastels is when you mix them, uh, when you're blending them, sometimes the darker colors can overwhelm the lighter colors. You won't get the lights to come through because they blend in with the darker colors. However, if you put the dark layer on and then you then you fix it to the paper, meaning it will not blend, uh, then those light colors can sit on top and not mix with the darker colors. So it's a way of creating a dark base that whites, that lighter colors look great on top of, but they're not mixing in with the dark colors and getting muted. Um, which is which is pretty much oh, very nice. Oh, Anik, nice. Anika, very nice. What do you think? I, I don't have rubbing alcohol or any of those because I only found out yesterday and I don't go shopping at the shop. I send for things on Amazon, so I didn't have time. Do to you have it. hairspray? I have hairspray, yeah. Take your hairspray and spray your paper with that. Okay. Should we do that now? Yep. Oh, wait, 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 wait till, thing. wait till Marie does it. Wait till Marie yeah, does it first. Yes, I'm. Ooh, Emma, nice color layer. Nice colors. <laughs> Kinda, good job. Uh, 
too. Anya, those are way too light. Wouldn't you say, Marie? Way too light. Super too light. Too light in value. What do you, what's your suggestion, Marie? Yes, um, I would definitely go back in. Don't be afraid to push down on your pastel. Don't, don't be afraid about it because I, I know it feels strange at first. But you really want it dark because we're going to lay the lights over it. And if you don't have a dark base, you're not going to see that that um, depth. Gosh me, that looks great. So Anya, go back and darken those dark layers, particularly the back. It needs to be much darker. The top part of the, the wave. Oh, we can use turpentine oil like we have. Yes, here. turpentine, mm -hmm. yes. Yes, that's what I prefer to use. Oh, nice, Diana. Good, be good base. Good beginning. Diana's working but in acrylic. Turpentine has an awful smell. Uh, not yeah. the kind that I use. That's true. That's true. Turpentine is gross, but um, Gamsol is really great. Has no smell at all. Yeah. Absolutely. Interestingly enough, it's a sort of non, yes, it is kind of, can be gross. So if you do not have rubbing alcohol in a brush or turpentine or Gamsol and a brush, you need to take a fixative spray and spray your paper. But wait well, till Marie does it. What? I have fixative. I can use okay. that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to take a <laughs> fixative <laughs> spray. If you don't have anything gross. else, maybe you've got hairspray, <laughs> which also works. <laughs> I love it though. Mom, Great. fixative spray smells worse than turpentine. That's it's part of the deal, sweetie. <laughs> Use hairspray. <laughs> <laughs> it is true. What we do for art. <laughs> it, that is true, right? Right. So you'll notice, by the way, that Diana, who is doing this lesson with acrylic, how dark her okay, base painting yes. is. You'll notice how dark it. that is. And so guys, what she's doing with acrylic paint is the same thing that you are doing when you fix your, your first uh, layer. Exa exactly the same thing. Yeah, it's exactly the same thing, except that the acrylic dries on its own. So you can lay it down and then let it dry. Uh, you don't need to add anything to it, right? It'll just dry on its own. Oh, Sandra, very nice. I'm using... Um... That thing I love this, uh, what, is, what do you call these? Uh, pan pastels. I love those for in the That's painting. Hey, um, do you think she should make her green wave darker, Marie? Yes. Okay. Um, make your green wave darker. Yep. Darker green. You're going for the to... top layers and not the bottom layers. Get, 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 your green, okay. get your green wave much darker. I agree. I love it, Diana. It looks like an animal. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like something really the wave. It's brilliant. It does. It's a rat, rat diving into the sea. <laughs> All right. That's better. much better. Better, Anya. Yeah. Very nice. And Marie, I don't think has who all of you are, so I'm calling you out as a as I see it, so she knows who's, uh, who's <clears throat> And, and I, I did write down people's names. But it's harder to like, the first but, time you have to program them in. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> All right, beautiful work, everybody. I think we're ready to go. Is we're ready, ready to, go? to go to the next step? Let's go to the next step. Okay, so I'm going to take a, a container and I just pour um, my isoprop propyl alcohol in it and I'm probably I don't know filling up the bottom not a whole lot and just like that and I'm going to take my paint brush and I will switch cameras so you can see I always start with my lightest colors um, because I want to preserve my lights um, as you're dipping your brush into the um, if you're using like Gamsol or rubbing oh, alcohol, nice. it will darken your your alcohol. And so you don't really want to mix the darts and the lights yet. So um, I'll switch my camera here. Nice, that's beautiful, Natalia. Very nice. Okay, nice here we go. Emma, super. 
Uh, is that Oscars? Oh, no, that's Emma's. So the other one was Oscars. Okay. Got it. Nice. Good job, you guys. Good, good pay attention to values. They're doing awesome. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so here we go. My favorite part. <laughs> Um, one thing, uh, what was that? Just don't sorry, worry. Oh, I was talking to the cat, sorry. <laughs> so we're just going to start with the light. I'm just going to go right across my paper. So for those of you who have the alcohol or turpentine or gamsol and a brush, this is how you're going to apply it. Dip your brush in the, in the solvent and then you're going to just brush right across. Oh, wow. Kind of like how we've been treating the paper. Yeah, see? <laughs> wow. Sandra, yes. I think your work, I think you would really enjoy this technique with how you work. I think it can work really well with the kind of work you do um, because you'll have so much more freedom to layer colors once you have a base, a dark base layer that doesn't, you know, blend with the top layers. I think you'll find this will really be uh, effective for your, not that your work needs any help necessarily, but you know what I'm saying. So you notice she's done the light part first. Yep. So, come here, here comes I'm gonna, a, I'm gonna do it, but I normally stay away from solvents because of the cats. Oh uh, yeah. But I got 91% alcohol, I guess that's, so that's gonna make the paper gummy, did you say? It, it. I think sometimes it does, but it's okay. Um, 91% is, is actually really good, I think, in like humid climates because it dries quicker. You can, if it's drying too fast or not working for you, you can always add a little bit of water to it. Uh, that's the 70% is just, it has more water. So it, it gives me a little more time to, to manipulate the pastel. I'm kind of uh, dragging um, my blue, which you just saw. This is why we do our lights. I kind of wanted to soften that edge a little bit. What does she mean um, by that, you guys, soften the edge? Can you see what she means? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't like it. Yep. Keep, keep, just okay, so stop, it's Sandra. It's mixing if you're not and like, taking it off. Sandra, and... stop, 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 stop. So stop now and just watch. Watch her do the whole thing and then try. Okay. Yep. So I'm just yeah, going to go working my way down. Um, I'm also paying attention to my wave and my water. I'm painting horizontally. Okay. And nice long stroke. Now it's gonna dry just a little bit lighter, which is fine. It seems really dark right now, but that's. Mom? Yes. This is what has happened after it has dried. I sprayed it. Let me see. Is Hold this on. Could okay? Can you take a picture of it? Take a picture. Uh, no, ma'am. If you can like Hold see on. me. Hold on, I'll take a look. Uh, oh yeah, that looks great. That looks great, kind of. Okay. That looks great. Um, mommy, in the starting of the class, ma'am, when you'd asked me to introduce myself, you couldn't hear me because I was on my iPhone. Can you say and, it now while Marie is working? I'm sure she'd love to know. Um. Uh, okay, ma'am. Um, I'm Kaina. I'm 11 years old. I live in the capital city of India, and I go to DSRS. Well, nice to meet you. And her dad works Thank you. for Reuters? Your dad works yep. for Reuters or your mom? Okay. Ooh, um, where does dad. your dad work? What does he do? For Reuters. Um, okay. He's, he's, um, I don't exactly know. He's a <laughs> producer. <laughs> he's What's his name? Uh, her, her dad, Sunil, is in the online produ uh, production team. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. In New Delhi, yes. And Claudia, you also came in late. Can you sort of, can you just jump on really quick while Marie is doing yeah. this? And uh... sure. mm -hmm. yeah, I'm Claudia. I um I don't work for Reuters. Um, I'm I'm with the 
well, I used to be with the LA Press Club when I was in LA. Now I'm in Paris, but um, um, yeah, but also a journalist um, for a German broadcaster. And she's addicted to art as well. Ow, <laughs> stop it. I love it. Thank you for coming. And I love Paris. I just got to visit there a couple years ago for my first time. Love, love it. Right? Yeah, lovely. No. <laughs> so notice how she's cleaning her brush. So number one, she started with the top layer so that her sky will maintain light. And notice that she's kind of cleaning her brush between sections. Um, don't panic about the idea that your colors blend a little bit, though. This is the base layer. So this is not really going to be seen. It's more going to be felt as you lay the top colors on top. It's not supposed to be perfect and pretty. It's supposed to be pretty blocky. Yep. And I'm going in the direction of the water. That's an important piece. So if you're spraying, of course, just spray. But you might try sp spraying horizontally and then kind of up and down for the rave itself. Mm -hmm. Guys, also look at how this sanded paper really pushes color. Uh, it's going to work a lot differently than your uh, watercolor paper or the pastel paper that you're using. Ma'am, so at just the noticed. moment, I'm actually using normal A4 sheets. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> I think it's turning I'm out so far well. good. It's looking pretty good. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> okay. So go ahead and try that, you guys. If you are, if you're using your turpentine, or go ahead and try that. You're probably already going ahead and trying it. Um, and Sandra, like I said, don't panic. <laughs> it's, I think uh, the alcohol is not very good with pan pastels, oh, uh, but I'll show you, I did it. it and um, take a it's, picture it's of it, let's we'll see it. It's underneath, yeah, so it's not going to show, but, but it's, uh, I can see the brush strokes. I think it's different when you're using like a very powdery pastel, like yeah, you're I, using cherry you know, rather than pan pastel. Sandra, I've never used pan pastels, so I, yeah, I'm like not sure, I like, agree um, with you. They probably wash off a little bit more. Yes. Let's see. I'm curious to see. I think it's terrible. It, oh, that's totally fine, Sandra. Our cats are currently interrupting our hut. Oh, my goodness. If you want to see, go over. Oh, I hear the two kittens, the babies. <laughs> oh, so cute. What is your cat? Name them again. Pip and Squeak or something. Let's see them. Ah, how old are they? Four months. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> It so notice you guys what notice what um, Marie's doing now. You see how she's lightly brushing in tiny bits of color into the light, but it's much lighter. So she's kind of dragging some of that pastel and just the. Go when ahead, you're Marie. Sorry. Before it's dry. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I kind of am going to have to make this a little bit darker, but that's fine. That's not a problem. There's a, there's a, sorry, I was going to say, I think there's a unison artist who specializes in, in uh, waterscapes, seascapes. I think she's in Australia. And she does in things Australia? Like that. I'm pretty sure. Oh, maybe I'm confusing her with an artist from Pan Pastel. You know how each brand on their website, they've got, they've got their TV videos of artists using their stuff. Yeah. Yes. And, but I, in, in the case, I know that it's Unison because Unison has actually a whole set for seascapes based on this woman. Oh, wow. But maybe she's not in Australia. Maybe I'm confusing her with the Pan Pastel one. So Marie, what are you doing right now? Um, I'm just kind of pulling some of the um, the color up into the wave, into the crest, um, but I think I'm pretty much done. Okay. Um, you only have a little bit of time to mess with it and then let it set. 
Yeah, and it doesn't take very long. I mean, it's pretty close to being dry. Um, <clears throat> I'll take a picture of it. So let's see here. Yours is already looking like a wave. Mine is <laughs> here. Yeah, I have not done um, this wave before. So this is new. I'm doing it along with you. So, um, there, you know, I'm just working it out um, with along with you guys. So sometimes I have ideas in my mind of what I want to use and and then realize up oh, that's not exactly how I want it to turn out, which I, I do love with the pastels. They are actually forgiving. Um, at first, I felt like they weren't, but it slowed me down in the fact that of the pre planning like I've showed you with my palette. So I'm laughing at that only because I remember, right? <laughs> Because they work differently and it's hard to kind of get that idea in your head about layering. But what's interesting is, Marie, not only do you now excel at pastels, you teach them all the time, they're influencing your oil paintings as well. Yeah, I, I, I find that really interesting now how they're crossing over. Yeah, they're totally doing it. And you can't even, uh, Ani, that looks pretty good. So this is spray. Marie, should she be dragging a little bit more color into her white area? The Ani just sent it over with the purple on the bottom. It's actually oh, it. tur turpentine, but um, oh, I mean, sure. the paper okay. is, uh, yeah, it's the, the paper is a paper. little bit like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, a little bit into there, I, I would, but that's kind of cool. I like it. I love the cut. Yes, you. this is going to turn out to be, what's really nice, actually, is how, because we all don't have the same colors, how you modify. Yes, exactly. Well, and I oh, love the different paper. Hello. Oh, cool. <laughs> He's so you cute. Special them. Sorry. <laughs> Claudia, uh, Claudia, that's tremendously good values. Really great value. Claudia just sent yes. the values across. That is perfect. That's how dark you want it, you guys. That is how dark you want it. Yep. Oh, Mateo, you're so cute. <laughs> I really love how families can do this together and we encourage that as much as possible. Uh, Oscar was even in our last show, our last Reuters show, because um, he did the perfect pandemic mood painting. Annika, nice. Yeah, yeah, I like those drips. That's coming along well. Emma, gorgeous. Yes, the darker and the moody, the darker, the better. Beautiful. Oh, that's Oscars. Very nice, Oscar. Excellent values. I love it. Yeah, Annika, these are great. This is excellent. Good job, you guys. That's really, I love these values. What I, I really like is these guys are not afraid of the dark values anymore. They know. And wait till we get to, this is a very good lesson to move us into our painting section because we're going to be doing this same thing with paint. Yep. Uh, although it's easier because, well, at least when we're in acrylic because all you need is acrylic and, and water and a brush. <laughs> oh, so um, how is everyone as far as we've got everyone about ready to go to the next step? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Rashmi, okay. Beautiful. Great color differentiation. Uh, great color values. You could brush a little bit of um, dark, a little bit of medium into your white. Do you see the way Marie has it? You can yeah, I'm not able to do this. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared of brush. So I don't know. Right, you're afraid of the brush? Don't worry, you're going to love the brush. So this is a great introduction to the brush because there's not much mm -hmm. brush work, just a little bit. Yeah. We're going to do um, a lot of practice with the brush. Yeah. Oh, it's, everyone's doing so good. Okay, so the next step is we're going to go back in. Um, I have a white um, 
soft pastel pencil, but you could you can use uh, the edge of a uh, hard pastel if you'd like. But the idea is after we do our underpainting, a lot of times we kind of lose where our um, our foam and maybe a little bit of our wave we kind of lost lost the structure of it. So I go back in with my pencil and just kind of mark a little bit of where where I'm going to put my whites and where where this wave is kind of coming down. Nice, Diana. I'm gonna let mine dry a little bit. Yeah, let it dry. If your painting is not, it, give it a couple minutes to dry. Yeah. Yes. Oh God, there you go. Dark and beautiful. Yes. Are you working in acrylics? Okay, excellent. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah yes, excellent, excellent. Ouch. Well, we're moving into your phase. Oh, you little monster. Stop it. Stop. <laughs> Look at these uh, marks that she's making, you guys. Really watch this mark making. It's, it, it's yeah. wave-like. It's kind of frenetic. It's not just a straight line that goes across. It has a little bit of broken, yeah. brokenness to it. And I really like, I'm really appreciating that. Only though, Olga, your your uh, horizon is sagging on the left hand side. It has to come. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Let's set up. Sorry. Um, something to think about with the foam. Um, it just be aware of the size. It, it's so easy for us to, to make the film look the same, even all the way across. It's just, it's just like when you're doing a landscape painting and you make all three trees the same size. It's, you don't even realize you do it. I do it all the time. So just be aware of it um, when we are laying in the film. I, I like to kind of angle my film a little bit to the focal point to lead the viewer's eye that way. So this is a, an opportunity for you as an artist to, um, to change that. Um, and so I'm kind of just thinking about the foam maybe coming up and directing your eye up here and moving out to the painting. So um, just something to think about. And this is just a, a, a road map again, kind of looking at the way I want things to lay, um, especially in here. Um, what kind of pencil are you using? This is a pastel. pastel. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta <laughs> mute myself. So <laughs> what? Could we use a watercolor pencil? A colored pencil? Yeah. A watercolor. Oh, oh, watercolor. Um, I'm not sure about that. I've I have not worked with watercolor pencils. Um, if you don't have a pencil, that's okay. You can just use a pastel a little bit, or you can skip this piece. This is just more of sketching in, and kind of getting, um, making sure that uh, the wave is looking. Uh, perspective wise. I'll take a picture to show. No, I love it. That's why. It's not pretty. It's a good time. I love this smell. Do you think it's like really like. It's a good time. It's what you normally use to clean. Can you switch it on? To clean brushes. How is everyone? Uh, oh, Leah, I can't hear you. You muted yourself. Myself, because I kept jumping in to answer the questions, and I don't want to do that, so I'm <laughs> shutting myself off. And oh. <laughs> I'm muting we myself. We want to hear you, Leah. Yeah. All right. All right. But I'm going to try and stop because it's very easy for me to jump in and answer these questions, and I oh. want Marie to feel like. Can you check and see? I meant to send, take it earlier. <laughs> okay. And Leah, uh, about the watercolor brush, I guess I've or pencils. I don't know enough about those. That. 
I think you can try it. I would say, Emma, try it, but it will create a different. Um, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Right? Oh, my God. From where George brought it to me. It's like, right. It's um, what I will say is, Emma, it it creates a it's a different it's not so vibrant so as you I, I, you know it's a different like um it may work funny with the pastels then again you might like how it looks i don't think it'll look exactly like what you've got going here so i would encourage you to try it just to see no, i just don't they the watercolor tends to not be as vibrant as pastel so i don't think you'll get this bright white that you've got going here, these nice- But it's colors. just a guide, right? So it's, just, it's a guide, but it also, our eye, it, this is an important, this will still show up on the top layers. So like on some level, we're gonna keep some of this mark making as she goes through. We use turpentine and it's still pretty wet. Yes, yeah, so yeah, I've got the same problem. Wait till it dries. Problem. Wait till it okay. dries. Yeah, just wait till it dries and no worries, we can, um, sometimes if I'm dealing with that, I have a little hair dryer. Um, that's always helpful. You could try that too. Natalia. Yeah, you're going, you're, you're good, Natalia. But I, I think we could yeah. see. Um, Maria, can you push up the painting a little bit and. Yeah, I can't we see can't the see bottom. the base, the bottom. Yeah, I was, yeah. I was going to move my one. easel and see if I could do that. <clears throat> and then back, back, because we can't see the bottom at all now. Yep. There we go. Ah, perfect. There you go. Yeah, right there. Perfect. Kay. Yeah. This is the, the uh, fun part. Oh. Okay. Natalia, it looks like um, we're not seeing your whites very much right now. Yeah, I'm not there yet. Uh, oh, my got it, got it. It's a bit grayish. Yeah, yeah, so no, this is good. Let's just go the previous step. You're good, like, you're good, you're good, yeah, and that's perfect. Wanted to have, like, yeah, heads up if I'm doing something very wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice, vibrant color, Sandra. I think that actually turned out pretty good. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have, the white is not white yet because my paper is yellow, but yeah, that's okay. We'll get to that. It'll get there. That yellow will be a nice, um, that yellow is actually, I use that yellow a lot myself. Oh, good. Banded paper. I really like it because it's, it does support the whites very, it, the, the brights very nicely. Okay. Ugh. This is really great, Marie. Thank you. Well, yes, thank you. It's it's one thing to do a process and then to try to teach it, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, kind of. That looks great. What do you think, Marie? Oh, I love it. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Thank so you. you're 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 really seeing the different change in values. Good job. Oh, I love it. Yeah, Rashmi. Great. Very nice. Making. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah, very bold. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Rashmi, I love, I know you're feeling like, oh, have I got this right? But I just want you to know that that feeling, that feeling of, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm using a new tool or a new technique and I can't envision the end. This is really working for you. Yes. So working nice. for you. You're doing great, even if you don't think you're doing great. So that feeling, you guys, we're holding on to it, right? I say this a lot. We hold on to that feeling of, oh my God, I don't know what's happening. I can't anticipate the end of this. This is weird. I'm not sure this is right. Um, that means you've gone to the edge of what you know. And J Marie's job is to get you over that edge. <laughs> I think people are ready to go to the next step, Marie. I think they okay. are ready. Okay, so we're going to get into the actual wave itself. So right now what we're looking at is what is sitting on top of, of our water and the reflections. And so I'm going to switch the camera again. Um, and uh, we're going to go in and start applying some of these colors. I'm just going to move a few things here. I'm in a little, a little studio. 
Okay. Let's go back into the sky. I'm gonna clean up the edge just a little bit. And I know we don't have a whole lot of time, so. So what are you doing there? I'm just uh, blending a little bit more blue into the sky right at the horizon. Um, I'm using a this is foam insulation. You can get it at the hardware store. And it saves my fingers from the sanded paper. Um, can and it you use a Q-tip too? Would that work? Um, you can. Um, you could even um, use a toothbrush. A brush. You know, there's these uh, soft tools as well. They're more expensive. But, uh, yes, like if you want to get fancy and technical. You can, yes. You. You certainly can. Um, I've found this is probably the most cost effective for me. Yes. Yeah. Um, so. So what she's doing, you guys, with that tool is kind of um, is cre is sort of creating a little soft edge with her pastel without having to use her fingers. See that? and see how she's brushing, kind of picking up. So a lot of things can work. Yep. Uh, this is a sort of classic landscape painting technique. Um, a lot of times, you know, when I'm outside or when Marie is outside, we might even pick up a leaf or a twig to help do some of the mark making. If we yep. think it'll help us create a certain, and I see the nice smoothness of that back horizon. That's nice. So um, I'm going to see if I can drag a little bit of this. Uh, it might be a little too, too bright. And I'm just kind of. So can you explain what you're doing right now, Marie? So this is kind of just the re reflective part on the water from the sky. And I'm just kind of dragging over with more a, lighter. Of a, a lighter color. Um, and then I'll kind of come back in with some blue. A darker bright. blue. Yep. Kind of go over it. So notice you guys that this is not a pattern, right? Like a line, 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 like little soldiers. This is a random pattern that she's kind of creating. And also look at how vibrant and bright those brights look on top of that dark surface. So as soon as your painting has dried, notice how those darks really support the lights. And I'm just going back in and softening some of these edges. Because um, really, our, this is in the distance. So, sorry. Uh, so this is like uh, the sky reflecting, you would say? The this. lighter like part? The, I'm sorry, what? She like the reflection, the color from the sky, because my sky is a bit different. So I'm thinking I should blend this uh, upper side of the water, like uh, upper part of the water with the color I used for the sky or? Yep. Yes. You okay. can. Yes. I'm just coming back in a little bit with the darks. And so these are the same darks that you used on the base layer? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. So, so notice that none of these edges, you guys, are very hard. No. Almost all of them are soft and they're a little blended. Yeah, so that's the reflection <clears throat> of the sky. And also it's reflecting the movement of the water. As the water mm -hmm. kind of crests up, there these are like 
mini waves that they look mini to us because they're far away, right? This is how a wave looks when it starts out and is far away. Beautiful. I think this is one of the things that I love most about pastel is the color, the colors. Just so pretty. You can, there's nothing like them. There's nothing like no. the colors of pastels. I mean, you can get close with oil and acrylic, but it's not the same. Yeah, yep. It really is not the same. Which makes, which is like, and you know, pastels are a pain. <laughs> They're messy and <laughs> dirty. And guys, also notice that she's keeping her far, the area that's the farthest away from us on the water is darker. So that light doesn't go all the way, those light areas don't go all the way up to the top of okay. where the water is. She's, she's preserving yeah. a slightly dark area. That's because as you go further back, you can't see the waves anymore. All you see is kind of a darker. Mm -hmm. Okay. I get on So I think we're going to move on down the wave here. And I like the sound of pastels being applied to paper. Me too. <laughs> that like I'm kind of looking for a muted turquoise for the back. Um, just so it doesn't push any of the, the wave piece forward. So we want it more muted. Hey, my little monster. There you go. Is he leaving the studio, Leah? Uh, he's in and out. We we shift him back and forth between the studio and there's an outdoor cat like area, and then oh, there's uh, he goes into the apartment. Um, he just can't be with Muka. He still attacks her all really? the time. Yeah, he, every he moment. He'll settle down when he's a couple years old. <laughs> oh, gee. It's, it's a long way <laughs> thank god we're in quarantine and i don't have anywhere else to go anyway <laughs> so yeah he's in the studio um he's outdoors and then he's uh he spends some time in the apartment um and you know he's right outrageously bored right now so he's running around <laughs> knocking things over <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> He's pretty great, but a lot of work. Yeah, I I hear you on that. I have yes. a puppy. Oh, that's even worse. Yes, if, yes, they are. Oh my god! The Jeez. amount of times Molly has had to go to the vet for things. Gosh, oh, I know. Baby. Such a little turkey. Mm -hmm. How old is a puppy? Yeah, she's a puppy. How old? Oh, eight months. Oh, so she's not that young. Because when they're very young, they're not even house trained. Whereas no, she house yeah, trained. she's house house trained, thankfully. <laughs> oh yes, she did really well with that. Actually, it's just um, we're gonna need to start some training, some doggy boot camp. So guys, are you seeing what Marie's doing? She's now laying what we would call the midtones or the medium values. But she's still maintaining this dark area here to the left of the wave. So she's taking lighter greens mm -hmm. and putting them on top. If you're having trouble, let me pull down the picture 
so that you can see it again. I'm going to pull it down in the thread. Sometimes we lose it. It's hard to find it. Um, Annika, that's nice. Some beautiful mark making there. Hi, Eugene. Uh, let's see. I am going to pull down the... I'm going to put the original down at the bottom of the thread so you guys can look at it and don't have to dig for it. Although it's really cool to go back up and see everybody's paintings. These are looking good even now at this base layer. Totally beautiful. They're good, aren't they, Marie? I told you they were good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so good. Here's the original source. Oh. That looks nice, Diana. He's coming along. Is this the third and final? So notice how much green she's putting in there. Notice that as the wave, as the wave comes up, right? The top part of the wave, it's a little bit greener and a little bit lighter than the base of the wave. The base of the wave remains darker. Notice that shift. We're gonna eventually do a wave like this in either acrylic or oil, probably oil. You know, so I, I, that's what I would like to do too, is that. See also how she's sprinkling different blues and greens in on sort of in and around each other. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Monique, that's starting to look nice. I love that background. Look at the vibrancy of your um, blue background. Oh, Natalia. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> this, wow. might be your, this might be your medium. Wow. <laughs> I, I told you I've been looking at those pink paintings in, at my like family house, so, <laughs> and I think it's I'm channeling that. I have one suggestion, Natalia, oh, and please, that please. is take a look at. Can you see the back horizon? Yes. Which you have is mostly soft whites. I would make, if you can look at the top of Marie's, you'll see that the very top of her, her water uh, is dark and has less white in it. So mm -hmm. I, would, I would pull out the darkness. I would go over with your darks in that very back layer, but I, otherwise it's just magical. <laughs> Thank you. I'm having so much fun. Yes, isn't this a great, isn't this a, isn't, isn't Marie a great teacher, you guys? Yeah. <laughs> so great. Oh, thank you. This is just, I love water and the waves and the color and just. Oh, wow. Magical. Yeah, remember the point is we're not all trying to paint like Marie or like each other. We're sort of using each other. So what are you doing there, Marie? I'm kind of just holding down my paper a little bit and just dragging this green over the top. It looks like you're adding darker colors in. I am adding a little bit of a darker um, green, just a little bit. Oi. Yeah, our idea, if we're lucky, we will be able to paint like ourselves, right? We want, so we want to take the techniques to see, okay, how does this work with what I already do? What do I already know? Yep. Um, and this really is a perfect lesson for, uh, for going into painting. It's very similar to what we do with painting, except it's a little easier. And I love the layering of color that Marie has going and see how she's adding in those darks at the base of the of the um, of the wave. 
you see how that, that base of that wave is always darker than we think. So yeah, pay attention then, um, to that. The base, yeah, if it raises up, the light hits it. So the top of the wave is lighter than the bottom part of the wave, the part that's, that's arching up. So Marie, can you remind them of the things that you said that like uh, uh, pastels was hard for you at first. Can you say what it is that was the hardest part for you at the beginning? Now that I would say, yeah. So the hardest part for me was how to, well, just how to use the pastel itself and the effects I wanted. Cause I knew what I could do in oil. And so it was just trying to figure out how I could get my pastel to do what I wanted to do. Um, and then once I kind of figured out how really it's just an extension of my, it's like a brush. And so, so once, once I figured that piece out, um, I could, Let's see. I could figure out what I needed to do. Hey, but, Marie, can you take a look at Kina's for a second? That's really pretty, yeah. Kina. I love your sky. Sure can. All Thank right. You. So this is a good place to break. Marie's going to send pictures of where you're at. Marie will take a look and give you some advice. So Kina just sent hers in. It's the slightly folded one. Yeah, oh, perfect. Still totally wet. Yes. Yeah, I still got yeah. this problem. Mine is still wet. Uh, take wet. a hair dryer to it. Oh, yeah. Terrible. Take a hair dryer. If you've got a hair dryer, take a hair dryer to it. I'm never going to do this alcohol thing. Um, I hope you're not saying that seriously, because <laughs> I actually <laughs> think the alcohol will really help you. No, <laughs> well, alcohol helps. Except make like gross strokes, which I'm desperately trying to hide. Mm. I think it's oh. the pan pastels that is the problem. I think uh, the the richer, thicker. Go ahead. So Marie, go ahead and give people advice here. Annika just sent hers in. And before that, with the pink base, it's Anik. Let me grab it here. Anya, go ahead and take a look. I at think it. the photo I sent <gasps> is the with the one with my feet is sort of curled. OK. That looks That's great, Anna. Yeah. So this is Anya, mm -hmm. the one that just Anya. came through. Okay. And then Annika from LA is the okay. one before that with the very okay. vibrant green. Ooh, I love it. It's like very dramatic feeling. Yeah. Yep. Anik has the uh, pink has the pink base oh, of okay. the water. So yes. do you have suggestions there? I would lay in some more darks down in the water if you can before we lay the lights on. You but if you can't, part? yeah. But if not, then we're going to lay some of the um, the lighter colors over that, which would be fine too. Um, but I love yeah. the purple pink color. And Kina's just came through. Can you? Okay. Can you Let give her some here. advice too? Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So on Kanya on the on the wave portion at the top, just right at here, the definition of that where that crest comes, I would darken a little bit more um, in the center where you have it kind of like a, a white line almost. I, I kind of come over over this area with some darker. Great job. Or green. Yeah. Is everybody in, is anybody, if everybody enjoying this, it looks like you're really getting somewhere with yes. this idea. Woo, Sandra. Whoa. Nice. And so this is what Pan Pastel? Yes. Okay. Oops. I've never uh, used Pan Pastel before. Me neither. So it's fantastic for under, underpainting. I don't have a Pan Pastel website. They have fantastic artists, mostly in Australia for some reason. Okay. Who actually do entire paintings with pan pastel? I yeah. find that it's a bit more muted, so I usually use it more for an underpainting. Nice. Okay. 
and because you also i find trouble doing details yeah but this is the kind of thing where you, you can do details because it's not like doing an eye or hair uh -huh. so hang on marie before you do anything tell people what you're doing okay um so i'm gonna go in and lay uh, this uh reflective piece um in in the water um i kind of i would like to get that down just to just to put some uh definition between the lights and darks for me um and so what and so is that is, like a light value but not this a is white. a very light green um value let's see i have marie can you take a look at my uh, uh yeah. drawing as well once did you just send it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. Very good. Okay. You're you're okay. ready to start putting in some lights. Okay. Um and that's that's really I'm just going to put a little bit here. Very light strokes. Um and I might even need a little darker. Um Oh wow, rush me that's I love the colors. Thank you. The transparency of a green at the top of a wave is fantastic. <laughs> no, don't step in my pen pasta. Come on. Yeah. This is just the off green, very light green. I just darkened the top and I sent it again. You sent it? Okay. That's much better. Good job. Very nice. Um, is there anything else I can do to like think about? So right now, I think what you can kind of blend that little tip piece right here, just blend it into your whites a little bit. And then now we can start adding some more um, of the foam, right where you've put the foam. So you've kind of got a good base. So maybe look at the different values, see the lights and darks, the dark, darker pieces of that foam that's in the shade. Ooh, nice. And, and notice the bottom of the wave always has is a little bit darker. So the mm. lightest parts are at the top, the bottom of the wave, the base of the the base of the white part is a little bit more uh, shad is a little bit darker and a little bit grayer. That is also sort of a truism about waves. It's like it, it has to do with the light. So the lights coming from the top here. That means um, the part of the wave that's sticking up closest, that's going straight up and sticking up closest is a little bit lighter, both on the dark side and on the light side. Notice her mark making, you guys. Look at how she's using the edge of that pastel and kind of putting her hand in and pulling away. Dot, she's dotting, she wants to see that mark. Yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And see how, and the reason it's beautiful is that we've got this darker light gray underneath, right? So we can see that white. We can see that white edge. It shows up as white later against the darker. Very interesting. Like, it is. Um... It's this illusion of the plane and and the turning of the water, and it's all with the value of your pastel. It's very interesting how the shaded part of a wave could be this purple. Let me show you. I was I just worked this wave with. Um, this light purple <clears throat> and a little bit of this light green. And let me just take a picture to show you. 
And then Marie, this might be a good time to stop, okay. let them catch up and ha let them send okay. you stuff so you can give advice. Okay. Let me Boy, delay. I'm learning a lot about I'm learning a lot about your guys's experience by being able to watch Marie. It's an entirely different thing when you're teaching it than when you're watching somebody else teach it. I'm seeing a lot of things I could do to improve. Well, because you think you're not moving very fast, right? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, but indeed, um, you are. Uh, by the way, the light in your studio is extraordinary. I really love it. Much better than mine. Okay, so it's working okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And look at the pictures of the of the colors that she's used, you guys. So on the far left is my soft yellowy white. And then this is the shadow portions of the foam that I'm using. And so foam is, is foam is foam, but as it moves into different shadows, look at the different value changes. That's really what is amazing to me. And the, t and the hue, so it's yes. yellow in places, it's green in places, it's, it's pink in places. White is not white. Nope. There's very little white in white. Uh, who is the famous artist who's, Vermeer talked about that quite a lot. Vermeer, who is an amazing Dutch painter. Um, he did the girl with the pearl earring and all of that. Uh, he mm -hmm. talked a lot about how white has almost no white in it. So if you wanna go and look at a Vermeer painting, and look at the white areas, you will see what he's talking about. There is no white in the white areas. I mean, that's what we studied in physics as well, right? That um, if you right. put a light through, white light through spectrum, it just breaks into seven colors or vice versa. Right, so, uh, just, yeah. right, exactly. It's like all like what the, I love it that you're bringing this to physics. That's completely I know. Different. It's, it's, it's how the light, it's light is really the pushing out of all the different colors. Black, yes. by the way, is the absorption of all the color yes. waves, yes. but, but white is the absorption. pushing away, right? Oh, yeah. Marie, that's, is that the purple that you're using right now? This is the purple. I love and that. I'm just, I want to get a little bit of this in for you guys, because I know that I want to kind of show you the last, um, the, uh, toothbrush piece of it, um, which some will not get to that part, which which is fine. I just um, wanted to share that. So I'm just kind of trying to get some of this in here. Kitty, come on, you big lug. Oh, I'm gonna take a picture of what he's doing right now so you guys can see. <laughs> what an eight months old he's being wait stop of course now he's moving you should see what my guy is doing he's scratching the, pi the pictures right. on the wall right you know you know sandra it is really true that when you said to me at the very remember when i first adopted hermes and you said oh my god wait till he gets to be eight months old and he's about eight months and he really huh? is a total jerk they <laughs> They bite, they scratch. Every time he sees Muka, he's on her with all four claws, out, all four <laughs> legs out. I mean, and we're trying to discourage him from that. So every, so when they are together, which is a kind of limited time, if he jumps on her, he gets put in his box. Oh. He gets put in his box immediately. But that doesn't really seem to <laughs> stop him at all. He I doesn't. never used that punishment, but um... he is well, we've got a 14-year-old kitty and she's the queen. Yeah, so he problem. really needs to learn to get off her. But he I don't know if he ever will. <laughs> I don't know. He so will, he will. They um, stay separate. Um, I know I feel like now he's just like bursting with he's like I'm bored all the time he's like meow 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 what do I do what he's do we bursting do? with energy know. and he's got a full grown body that's that's the bad mixture at eight months old <laughs> <laughs> and he's got that child's mind you know Yes, he is a little baby. He's just a baby. Yeah, every time he does something bad like knock something over or break something he just gives me this look like what oh hey <laughs> <laughs> Such a little turkey. He is a turkey. You're such a turkey. A turkey, but I love you. But you're a turkey, but I love you. But you're a turkey. Mm -hmm. Yes, Boy, he's not going to those. go outside. Ooh, let's see. 
I'm really loving what I'm seeing here. Very nice, Rashmi. So Rashmi, I would say work yeah. on, what else, what, what do I want you to work on here? Actually, you're in good shape, honey. Okay. Okay. Look at, work on Rashmi up where the, where the white edges, can you work on making some, using the sort of edge of your pastel to create yeah. with the white to create some kind of block? See how Marie has these fuzzy edges at the top of the white where it meets the back wave? Yeah. And you can bring yeah. that in as well, but that's very good job. Good job, love your background. These are great. Are you pleased so far? Yeah. It's really yeah. neat, isn't it? Yeah. So essentially, Marie, Marie is... can you please send, sorry. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, I was just saying, Marie, can you please send some suggestions and recommendations for good colors? Pastel colors. We don't get much here, so maybe we'll. I'll try to get it through some friend. Yes. Um, abroad. Yeah. Um, so, so you're so wanting you like colors in uh, like pastel which pastel colors. for pastels? Yeah. yeah. Um, so they can some uh, places they like Terry Ludwig will sell like sets. Um, he'll do landscape sets or he'll do blue sets or red sets, and so. A good all-around set um, that I think is reasonable priced um, probably would be like a unison. I think those are really yes. nice pastels. And um, actually, a tip is to get uh, the half sticks. Yes. You get many more yes. colors for the price. Yes. Definitely good tip, Sandra. Um, the half sticks are wonderful. I've um, got a set of a unison half stick. I don't know if you can see. Do you? And I got it like at a very good price. See? Uh, oh, uh, wow. So jealous. Well, um, oh, those I are gorgeous. I still envy. Yes. <laughs> but, but you'll see, you guys, oh. it's this bottomless pit of need that never gets filled. <laughs> so, like, you'll just keep wanting to buy. You'll be like, but I don't exactly have that because, color for the green of my cat's eye. And I exactly. have to. Have I've like, got a whole <laughs> set just for greens of cats. You know, um, but at least in America and even in Britain, like on Jackson's, they have sales and that's yeah. the, or they have coupons and that's for which go. I always buy on sales. That's yeah. a great, that's a great recommendation. I also noticed that like uh, Sennelier does these cool little packs of like four or five colors. So if you're looking for a particular color set, Sennelier's are expensive. Am I saying mm -hmm. that right? Sandra? Yes. yes. Sennelier. Sennelier. But you know, they, uh, um, they also they, have very nice half sets. They have, have great half sets, half but sticks. if you're all if you're just looking for like a group of blues, they sell these like they'll sell like four color packs. And that's okay. that can be really nice if you're looking for variation on something and it's not so expensive. And I bet Jackson's will have those. I mean, I don't know, Rashmi. Jackson's Jackson's is an art store in London. I don't yeah. know like um if they ship to India, like how, like, you know, what they're, what they ship taxes. to America. So they ship to America. Do they ship to India? Um, mm -hmm. I wonder I'll if check. I have friends there. So maybe I'll just take, uh, right. Get them to do, do get them to do it for yeah. you or yeah. tell yeah. us, find out what the major art supply store is in India. Tell me that. And then I can sure. go on and get some advice locally. We can get some local advice for what is available locally. Sure. Actually, I think Needy that. sent me, and where is Needy? I thought I saw her pop on for a minute, but maybe she popped on it off. I think Needy actually sent me some suggestions. Let me see what she's got. Um, and one thing about using these pastels, um, especially the Ludwigs, you can see that they're the square. I love the, the edges. Um, I take all of my wrappers off the pastels. I like to use all the edges because I feel like you're limiting mm. yourself if you leave those on but the wrappers um, and so I'm going to take switch cameras and then I'll take a picture um, just kind of show you because I know here we're getting close to the end. Getting, and we're getting wow. a bit lost. Can we, yeah, now people want, I think we're going to stay on a little bit longer if you can, Marie, since we yeah. took a little bit longer to get started. Let's do sure. that. If you guys can stay on a little bit longer, let's just do that. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, oh, very nice, Anik. 
I'm liking how that foam is starting to look. Thank you. Ooh, me too. And I like how you've incorporated that pink into the front. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, Marie, that's beautiful. Notice how dark everything is still on Marie's or in many areas mm -hmm. uh, on Marie's thing now. Notice. We haven't, we haven't lost those darks. The darks are really important in painting. Mm-hmm. This is something that actually I wanted to ask you, Leah, when we arrive at the at, at the water watercolor because yes, um, I've seen this uh, half product be earlier today. Okay, I, I saw that. Do you want me to give you some advice on that later? If if it's possible, then yes. yeah, yeah, totally. But, uh, also. I'm Oh, go I ahead. felt haunted with the with the coffee beans from Russia. Yeah, the coffee beans were tough, and I felt like I actually, after looking at it, wished I had gone a little bit lighter. So the good news for you is that what I saw immediately was you're not. It's not too late for you to. You know what I mean? You can go too dark too quickly, um, which is a which is a problem. Which because in pastels and acrylic and oil we go darker first. And then we layer lights on top of you, but you can't do that with the pastels or with ink really, but. Pick one. And it's back and forth. I mean, just light touches and then I come back in with color a little bit over it. So in this foam, do you have you put have you laid down some pure white yet or not really? Nope, I have not done any okay. pure white. No. Great question. Yep. And you can. I just. But maybe at um, the end, for yeah. Yeah. very like few pieces. Marie, explain what you're doing there as you're brushing with your finger, and what are you doing right now? Um, right now, I'm kind of just gently laying some light blue at the base of this. Foam. That, that foam right yeah um and just just a little and kind of blending it um i try not to blend too much the it the pastel itself has like these crystals in it and they they're really beautiful so if you start blending too much you lose that shine you mean it's an iridescent yeah I've got some of those. Uh, actually, your Senelier does some of those, and Pan Pastels does some of those. Yeah. And um, so uh, this pe this portion of it, you can tell that it can take a while blending. So I won't spend too much time because I know we've got got to move. And I'm just putting more of the shadow in. Go away. <laughs> How are your guys? Uh, uh, rabbit. Three he guys. Naughty. He usually gets naughty when he's eaten, when he's hungry, but he's just eaten, so I don't know what he, what's so much. <laughs> And he Hermes gets is the up. same way today. He was normally he calms down and settles down after he eats, but now I give him food and it's like, it's like you know what? When they're growing like this, like with dragon, it's never enough. <laughs> it's true. I and, fed him so he's had like know, three packets of food this morning. Yeah, up until one year old, you can give them as much as they want. They need they need it because they're growing. It should wow. be almost uh, limitless, like, uh, you know, nonstop feeding. Yeah, he <laughs> is eating all the time. And he's not, he's big, but he's not fat. And I don't know if you guys can see this. I'll see if I can turn it so you can see him right now. He kind of is so big that he sits hunched over. It's like, he's like a tall, like a- Is his collar too, too tight? Uh, I don't think so. I, text, I tested okay. it. Oh, okay. See how he's kind of hunched over? <laughs> like. I can put Maybe two like fingers. I can put you. two fingers in between the collar and the. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, it's probably it's... you know, um, growing 
if I keep not getting used to his size yet. That that's what it seems like. He keeps hunching over like he has no idea how long he is. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, uh, Rabbit, at two years old, suddenly, when he turned two, he suddenly was so, so much taller. And now he's really tall and lean. Um, but Dragon is built like a little bear. Oh. Uh, I'm hoping he will <laughs> <A> <laughs> <little> bear. <laughs> get taller. Uh, Sandra has four, has three, three. really great three. Um, Bengals, uh, Marie, whom she paints, who she pastels quite a lot. I was just looking to see, Sandra, if I had any uh, on me, some of the cat drawings. But uh, after class, will you send some over the thread yes, just so yes, Marie yes. can see them? Yeah. Um, wow. And Sandra, I know this is like not exactly your way of working. And um, What are you doing right now, Marie? I'm just kind of laying some foam down on the bottom here. What color are you using? And this is kind of like a turquoisey blue. So it's a um, mid tone. It's not exactly light. It's medium. No, it's medium. And I'm just kind of lightly glazing over. Um, just ever so lightly. Claudia, very nice. Uh, I I very nice. Claudia, I am really loving yeah, how so you're laying down the, the color middle. here. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Zowie. <laughs> Good student. <laughs> and you know what I really like, Claudia? I like that the base of your, the dark part of the wave, I like that the base is so dark and that you really only get into the green right as the wave is kind of cresting up and turning around. That's what's happening with light. That's what's happening with the light. I'm sorry, I have to go. My husband has been the dog that got, got ran after a coyote. And oh, it, uh -oh. all right, all right, go get him. Go, pr go protect I'm him. Leaving. Yep. I'll, I'll do the same we'll thing. see you later. Take care of that doggy. Oish. That's scary. Very nice. That is scary. So notice, you guys, Very what's nice. interesting about Sandra's piece is that she is not, she's got to do that same mark making with a brush. Yep. So pay attention to this, Diana's work, because you soon are going to be asked to do that. Um. Wow. So nice. Yeah. It's beautiful. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what this shows us is how important the darks are, right? The darks are really what showcase our lights. And that's a hard thing to remember. It is. And what are you doing right now, Marie? I'm just kind of glazing some, some green over, like a oh. turquoisey green. Emma. Wow. So Emma, the only thing oh, that's, wow. that's really gorgeous color-wise, the only thing I would say is uh, smooth out the top there. You have this kind of dip happening in the middle of your wave, which is actually not happening in, uh, it's, it's um, there's a, like a little dark triangle. Do you see that coming in over the top of the white part of your wave? That's not really what's happening there. So try and even that out. Otherwise, tremendous colors. And Emma, did you use the watercolor pencil? I, I can she's going to have a dog. Oh, she's, no, that's Emma. No, oh. no we didn't use the watercolor. Leah, I don't understand the bit you mean. Okay, you so you, you have, it, it looks like this. On the top of the white part of your wave, you have this area that's going down like this in the middle. Yeah. Right? You need to, you need to flatten that out. That isn't there. You put something that's not there. Look at Marie's wave and you will see. Uh, oh yeah, who is, who am I? Oh, who am I looking at? Oh, there Oscars we go, yep. Oh, that was Oscars. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. You said Emma's, <laughs> that's why I was like, oh, the Oscars. First one is mine. No, the first one is mine. And the right, one so do you see how Oscars is straight across the white at the top, it goes straight across, it doesn't dip down. You have this sort of serious dip down. It's a dark triangle that's coming down into the top of your white. 
that is not what's actually happening. Um, uh, most likely, I think you're exaggerating. Almost always, our problems are drawing problems, right? They're not actually the painting problems. Your application of color is perfect. So it's looking at the drawing and seeing, did I get these light and dark shapes correct? Right. Um, gorgeous. Oscar, I freaking love how dark this is. Oh, these are, this is great. So Oscar, you could lighten your sky if you wanted to, or just keep it dark. Yeah. A light, you could go over with a lighter blue or, or green or something on the top of your sky. Just uh, uh, the, va the, the value of that would be, or the, the sort of uh, advantage of that would be to push your your way forward because everything isn't dark, but I still right. like it. So it's kind of up to you, honey, how, what you want, the sort of mood you want to evoke. What should I do with the main block of foam? Because I still think it's a, a bit, a bit too many lines. So should I brush over that once or will that? Yes. Well, I like, um, Marie's going to show you how to do something with a brush. So she'll make it a little bit, she's gonna show you how to finish off the white of the wave. So you could get a little bit, God damn it, hey, stop it. Sorry, that's, uh, you, no, get over there. Um, he's so pissed that I am like talking to you. Uh, so do you see how sort of medium, how medium the base of her white part of her wave is, Oscar? So you could add more of the, you see how your, yours is kind of white all over. You could go darker at the, at the bottom part of the white. So the white comes down like this, and then there's this part here you could bring in with sort of medium grays. So you can make it darker here. Notice how she's doing it. It's not dark, dark. It's just a medium next to the lights. Oh, Kitty, God. I agree. Stop it. Uh, Leah, I have to run. I just wanted to say thank you for, for a great lesson. Oh, <laughs> it was so much fun. Anya, you did great. And did I see you using the, uh, did you get the uh, sanded paper finally? It looks like you did. No, I didn't. Oh, just... Actually, I searched for in Poland, but it's it's hard to find. I mean, it's hard to find. The yeah, paper. It may be it may be uh, Jackson's or someplace like that. You'll have to go. Um, uh, just I'm send us a, there, but... just send us a picture of how you're where you're where you're at now. Yeah, yeah. We'd love to see where you finish off. Oh, yeah. Rashmi. I want to see. Very nice. Oh wow. That's Rashmi's. Yep. Anya, this is Anya's. Anya, this is beautiful. Look at that. Oh, thank you. Oh. Do you want me to show them the uh, toothbrush thing real quick or is everyone need this, to yeah, go? Show the toothbrush thing quick and we'll see you. Anya, we'll see you next time. Oh, thank you. quickly, before we go, uh, guys, one of the things I wanted to ask you was uh, next week is, is Christmas, obviously. So we have an option of doing a lesson on Christmas Eve, which would be a Thursday or Christmas day, which would be the Friday. Um, I've had some requests for Friday, uh, but I don't know. I would prefer Christmas Eve. I'm actually working on Christmas, Christmas day. Eve. Yeah, so Christmas Eve, what I would like you guys to do is send me a note through the WhatsApp thread, just what day you would prefer, but also tell me if you can do the other day. Okay. Tell me what your day you can prefer. Oh, Sandra, there you go. Oh, the white oh wow. Is not quite right. uh, what if we can't present like stuff for any? If what's that? No, what if like we're not free at any day? If you're not free any day or you're not yeah because um, i have <laughs> like some family planned yeah well then don't worry about it don't say anything <laughs> because you won't be there <laughs> wow you guys everyone is doing such a good job i'm seriously i'm amazing isn't it i love it sandra what i see well i think the technique that she's a prefer Oh, uh, it would be Thursday. Um, it would be Thursday, Emma. 
It would be Thursday or Friday. Yeah, okay, Th prefer Thursday, but Friday is okay. So just go ahead and send me a note across the thread when you know of, of what would be ideal and what is impossible. Um, Anik, there you go. Now it's starting to come. Yeah, show them that technique, Marie, because I think this will be a good moment for them to say. Got All right, it. so real quick, um, I have an old toothbrush that I'm gonna use and a little bit um, of white pastel. This is a soft pastel, um, they would work the best. And I just dip my toothbrush into the rubbing alcohol. <laughs> and I will switch my camera so you can see. And essentially what I'm gonna do is um, load my brush with pastel. So um, take my toothbrush and I'm just gonna, like you're cleaning a tooth, and you're just kind of going back and forth just very lightly as you see little white specks of paint on your fingers that's kind of a good indication of the toothbrushes loaded and so notice the toothbrush has alcohol rubbing alcohol or turpentine on it and then yep. she's brushing it and look at how much white is on there yeah and so um then i'm going to take the toothbrush and i'm going to turn it up like this and I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna pull down and this is gonna create my spray on my painting. So you can take your other hand and kind of just block an area that you don't necessarily want the white and you're just gonna. <laughs> wow, look at that you guys. And you Do you see what of... she's doing here? It's you like just, spray painting in a weird way, but with a... <laughs> It is, and it's so much fun. <laughs> you can just put it wherever it you want. It looks fun. Oh, I like it. So if you've got a toothbrush and you have some of that alcohol, you can create that edge. You're going you're gonna to dip the toothbrush, scrub it. Yes. I scrub it on and then flick it off. <laughs> yes. And apparently this was a technique that was um, created for watercolor. I could see that. And I don't know who exactly came up with it, but this is what I learned in my workshop and I love it. Um, and I think it just adds a little bit more of that realistic look to your painting. And it's really fun. It's beautiful. So Marie, keep working for another, let's work for another five minutes. Okay, is that all right? Yeah, yes, please. Is, watch Marie as she's adding on. And Marie, try to speak through as you're adding on, okay. as you're doing something, try to tell us what your decision-making is so okay. that they can take that for finishing. Okay. Um, so right now I'm, I've kind of um, done a lot up into the foam and the shadow area. So I'm going to kind of, move down a little bit down in here to the bottom of the painting. And so right now I'm just kind of looking at the shadows and the lights and kind of thinking about the foam and where I want to put, put the lights. And I've kind of laid down a little bit of it to, to see the variation of the light and dark. And I think I need to go a value lighter. So, <clears throat> and I think that's the amazing part is what I thought was going to be light enough wasn't. So I'm just kind of um, lightly dragging my pastel over this. And then I'm going to go back in with a brush and I'm going to carve out some of these foam areas. On this size of a painting, it's it's easier to do that. If I had a larger painting, I could probably paint in more of the these holes in the film. Um, just makes it a little harder. And I'm not going in the same direction because we know the foam doesn't. 
So watch yeah. how she, what she means by that. What does she mean yes, by it's... like moving directions? You're con your mark making. So she's letting this layer kind of sit on top, not so blended in. Yes. Like your other layers. <clears throat> exactly. And then I'm kind of gonna drag a little bit as we move in. So see the, the change of color because we're going to start moving up that that wave. And that's what I was talking about the plane. We know that the water about here is fairly flat, but as it's moving from the front of us, as it's coming to the base of that wave, it's thicker water, it's darker, and it's moving up. So that's why I'm choosing a different value color here. And because we know that the, the plane's changing. Um, so I'm gonna go in, I have a, uh, a fan brush. I've got something like this, which is kind of fun. And you can go in and just dust out, remove some of these areas. So you're doing in between the foam? Yep, I'm just kind of carving out so these. she's wetting which right you're not even wetting right you're just oh it's brushing just, just brushing yeah that's a way. good question sandra so what she's doing is she's going to where that white edge which is quite sharp meets the dark area and she's softening it just a touch but not as dramatically as you do with like your finger you know what i mean or a bigger tool hey kids <laughs> Emmett, did you know you have something attached to your back? Did you notice that? <laughs> She's like, I don't even notice anymore. That's why it's nice to have a dark underpainting <clears throat> because you can pull some of this um, layered pastel and pull it off and you have those lines that like Leo was talking about. They're softer. Yep. But not as strong as anyway yep. yeah there's like a there's all these different layers of soft and hard we're going to spend a lot of time practicing and talking about soft and hard lines um it becomes very important when we start dealing with color i must say what i have trouble with is what i kind of missed was the foam how you did that big piece of foam marie can you talk through that yeah so um down below or no, that big thing in white. No, like the fact that it looks 3D on yours. <laughs> because she's, because the, the, the base, well, well, anyway, go ahead, Marie, you do it. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Tell her. No, so. Because he's got edges, but. Uh, up here? Yes. So that's, so I was using the, the different um, valued uh, pastels, the lights, the darks, and the mediums. And I was just moving ah, those, course. just just ever so lightly blending with each other. Um, and down here, now I'm kind of scraping away some of that pastel so I can get my hard edge back. Um, and the fan brush really makes it. It's always about the three values, isn't it? 
Yes. Always. Yep. It's about values and edges. It's yep. about values and edges, values and edges. Constantly, we're going back to review where one value meets another, that's an edge. And what that edge looks like depends on, that's where we focus our energy. Um, it's interesting. It feels like it should be different. I should be painting every foam thing. I should be painting, but it's not about that. It's really, if you notice where Marie is working, she's all, she's exclusively going where a lighter edge meets a darker edge. And then she's looking at what, de what detail needs to be added there. Yep. And it's, it's definitely, um, you know, adding in some of that foam and it's okay to make it thicker. It's okay to, to, to make it thick um, down in here because then I can bring that brush in and I can take out some of that. I don't have this brush. I mean, I, ha I have a makeup brush, makeup pan brush. <laughs> yes, actually, I'm using painting. makeup brush. Yeah. yeah. You, uh, if you I don't, don't have a fan brush, too. yeah, you may want to get one of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. welcome right to the now, world of mean? art where everything is oh now you want to get that now you want to get that now you want to get that i, I will <laughs> say the the um harder why i like this fan brush is it's a little bit harder um stiffer and so um i can really carve out some of those um areas easier um and I'm using the edge and then I'm dragging like this if I want it softer. So if I want just a really soft area, I'll just kind of drag it over and then leave those thicker areas. And you can just go back and forth, adding in. Uh, Natalia, you're getting there though. You know what I would do next? I like how you've got your back area and your waves look lovely. I would work on doing what Marie's doing now, which is lightening that front area a little mm -hmm. bit more, right? Yeah. So yeah. because that's showing that like the that the that yeah. as there she yeah. said, there's a plane change. The wave goes from going like this to going like this. And mm -hmm. that change is right. If the light is coming from the top, the light's coming down. It's going to be different here than it is here right? mm -hmm. it's going to be bright so i would say you've got your back areas work that front area while mm -hmm. still letting some of the darks come through okay now look at what she's doing yeah what it's are you nice. doing right now marie <clears throat> so right now i'm taking um some more of a dark um hard pastel and i'm i felt like i just needed a little bit more definition down in here and um, so I'm just kind of adding a little bit and just lightly blending it, um, making that definition a little bit more. So you see what she's done? She's created a hard edge that's dark and then she's kind of brushing most of it away. So that yeah. in areas where you want a little bit more definition. So Sandra, I think this is one of the finishing things that you were talking about that would be helpful. See, it's right. almost like she's going back over those original white lines and the pencil lines, which she put in. She's adding in a dark, hard uh, pastel, but then she's push, then she's blending it back. So what color is this? A it's navy dark blue. blue, a very dark blue. Yeah. So so that you can't really see the line, but we can still feel it. This is a fantastic painting technique and I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. Uh, we add lines and then we paint over them and the lines still show up. Even though you can't see them with the naked eye, they still show up in the final painting. It's fascinating. It, it, it is um, a back and forth. Um, Definitely a back and forth. Uh, is that still a, a pastel that you're using? This is a pastel. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh. This is a um, what's it's a hard called pastel. hard pastel. It's new pastel. It's uh, I want to say the color is like a blue spruce. It's um, one of my favorites, actually. 
I think if you didn't oh, have looks that, great, Natalia. yeah, I think if you didn't have that, you could maybe consider using a charcoal pencil, even a dark one, because the darks would also blend in there. But for the color, that blue spruce is beautiful. But if you don't have it, a char pastel, yeah, pastel edge. So you're kind so. Really, you guys, if you notice this, much of this wave is what we would call soft edges, right? Mm -hmm. Much of it is soft edges. Yep. Oh, very, thank very, God. Very. Thank God. And Annika, we're glad you're, we're glad everything's okay. Annika says, my dog ran after a coyote. This is a big issue on the West Coast of the <clears throat> US. Coyotes kill dogs all the time. Mm. Um, Sandra, nice. So Sandra, what I'm thinking is your edges, that wave with the, sort of, the, the edges are still too hard. Oh yeah, I just started them, that's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even... So, okay, great, great. So just keep pushing, or like you'll go back in and take some of your whites and yes. blend them in. Beautiful though. And I, I'll tell you, Sandra, I love the mark making you've done on the front part, the whites that you've laid on top of, you oh, know. Good. Oh, damn it. Sorry. Like, it's just good to know that you're not the only artist that struggles with pets. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. There are times now when I have to actually lock him in. I have to put him away because I cannot like, I'm like, he wants to slam against the surface that I'm working on. He wants to jump up on the painting. He wants to do everything. Oh, you little, and he's fast. <laughs> so well fun. i had to call my boys uh to come over and and take care of molly because she was just like mom what are you doing yeah hey how come you're not paying attention to me me exactly me, me. yeah my guys were very naughty too and oh, emma now. emma this is really beautiful I'm looking to see. So Emma, that dark line that's running across your back, your back water, water. it's like halfway through. We, we should not see that line. That should be vanished. It's because I've got two pieces of paper, um, two oh, pieces of paper tape I see, together. I see, okay, okay, I see it, I see it. I'm sorry, uh, never um, mind. Never no, mind. No, no. I mean, I'm with it but um not to, well there sample paper so it's small right. paper. <laughs> the other solution to that is just to work smaller uh what's nice about working smaller is you can it's so funny there's not much you can do about that but don't worry what i really love emma is all those reds and purples and blues and greens uh, merging together in the dark part of your wave. It's, a, it's stunning. So the only thing I would say here is a little bit more white kind of, um, we want to see that transition between the dark and the light part of the wave, but you don't want it to be so solid. So you want bits of white foam kind of coming, covering the edge where the dark meets the light. A little bit more there. Work those edges. But really great work, you guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, Diana, that's coming along nicely. So Diana's still blocking in. I love the background. I love the backwater. Diana's still blocking in. So you'll see her wave right now is kind of sharp. That, that dark part of that wave is sharp. She's gonna, as, the, as she layers on top, she's gonna uh, minimize that line so we don't see it so strongly. Really great work. And we've gone almost two and a half hours. Really? <laughs> yeah, so. Good job, everyone. All right, so we're gonna go another couple minutes and then, um, and then I'm going to end this. Okay. <laughs> Great work, everybody. <clears throat> and we're going to do the same thing in another few hours, except a different wave. So, oh, oh Anna, go ahead. very nice. Is it okay if I um, post on my site that I, I taught today for you guys? Yes. Okay.
Yeah, yeah. I they're mean, used to being bragged about. Okay. I, I just <laughs> I didn't want to post and then say, oh shoot, because uh, some some people don't necessarily. I, I won't post. Uh, if you don't want me to. So. Gosh, me actually, let's, okay, so hold on, actually, let's do a stop. I'm going to remove the spotlight, and I'm going to, let's move ourselves into gallery view so that we can see everybody, and I yeah. want you to hold up your pieces wherever they're at, including you, Marie, hold up your okay. pieces. Okay. Here, I'm going to get on. a photo. Rashmi, that's beautiful. Claudia, beautiful. Sandra, beautiful. Getting the, oh my god, Natalia, lovely. Anik, Olga, yes, Diana. Oh my God. Here, hold on. I'm going to post too. I hope you guys don't mind because this is pretty great. Here, hold on. Because this is the first time, got it. This is the first time you all have ever done, had another teacher besides me. <laughs> How did that go? Was that helpful? Having, cool. yeah, and having you, Leah, is helpful it. too. Yes. Yes. Um, because, yeah, to do a demonstration and then to try to, yeah. Um, to help people at the same time. It's definitely a rhythm you have to get into. And Marie, I know your classes have never been larger than like, yeah, you know, six. So it's, uh, it, it takes some getting used to, to be able to bounce back and forth between yeah. like, but what's nice is these bigger groups, they kind of force you to stop a little bit so that you can look at where people are and help them. These guys will tell you, this is not something I did naturally a year ago. <laughs> I've gotten better it's at it. It's very hard to, um, you used to have trouble with that, Leo. Now you don't, to yeah. talk and draw because it's Ex like different side of the brain, right? Exactly, exactly. But I think- That is Sandra, so, that's, that's tough. Yes. I, like even Leah's like, okay, now can you talk through this? I'm like, oh, right, right, right. <laughs> 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 so would you guys be interested in having more uh, classes by Marie? Yes. Excellent. Well, I've yes. got, uh, I'm going to be talking to, I, I've got some plans. I've got plans. I've got plans. So That's great. we're going to talk about that. I think you guys, we, there may be more classes available next year. So not less, oh, wow. but more. Uh, and some specialized stuff and some more basic so that we're hitting everything. And uh, that means more teachers. Here's my lumping little, well, he is. Everybody's like, bye you awful people for distracting my mom. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> you can have a back now, Hermie. Thank you, Marie. <laughs> Thank Amazing you, it's so nice meeting you all. Thank, Thank you. you. For Thank you Thank for you. being Great patient. work, everybody. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Uh, bye, you guys. Can stay on for just Leah. another minute? That would be oh, yeah. great. Leah, sure. I'll send some cats across for please for do. Marie. Please. Oh, thank Marie, you. you don't believe it. These are so be her work is so beautiful. Yeah, no, oh, I believe good. it. Safe doggy. Safe little doggy. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna stop the recording here.